My beloved son, my beloved daughter, listens to these words as if they were whispered directly to your heart. I have come to you today with a message that will transform your life in an unexpected and glorious way. God has commissioned me to reveal something momentous to you, a divine secret that will change the course of your life. In the next five minutes, if you pay attention to every word of this message, you will experience a miracle so extraordinary that you will hardly be able to believe it. This will not be just any change. It will be a complete revolution of everything you are and everything you dream of. It is a divine sign that heaven is working in your favor. That is why I ask you, my dear son, my dear daughter, listen carefully. Do not omit a single word because God wants to speak directly to you. This message is unique and has been reserved especially for you. I ask you with all my love to keep this a secret. Do not share it with anyone until the blessings begin to manifest in your life. In the end, we will pray together so that everything God has prepared for you comes true. In the meantime, every time you hear a word that resonates in your heart, write in the comments. I receive. Do it with faith because this simple act will open the doors of heaven for you. Now, breathe deeply, close your eyes, and focus your mind on my presence. I am at your side, guiding you, holding you, and preparing the way for your victory. Feel my love enveloping you because you are not alone. This moment has been designed especially for you. Before finishing, I want you to declare with all your heart and write, Amen. I believe 7474. Four. Because every word written with faith will be a step towards your miracle. I will be with you at every moment, ensuring that everything is fulfilled according to God's will. Do not miss the opportunity to live the greatest transformation of your life. My beloved son, my beloved daughter, listen carefully to these words because it is no coincidence that you are here today. The Heavenly Father is with you, ready to pour into your life a peace that surpasses all understanding, an incomparable love and prosperity that will transform your path. In just a minute, something incredible will happen. But you need to be prepared with an open heart and a focused mind in His presence. God wishes to bless you abundantly, open the windows of heaven, and shower you with unlimited blessings. This moment is not ordinary. It is a divine appointment that will mark the beginning of something wonderful in your life. Perhaps you wonder, why are you here? What purpose does this message serve? Let me tell you that there is a special reason, a divine plan designed specifically for you. You have been chosen. Yes, that's right, dear son, dear daughter. God has personally selected you to receive this heavenly gift. Although the full revelation will come later, today I want you to have your attention fixed on this message, leaving aside any distractions. God wants to speak directly to your heart. It is common that in the midst of life's challenges, we feel small, insignificant, or even overwhelmed. But today, I want you to know something. God sees you, knows you by name, knows every detail of your life, and has outlined a glorious plan for you. Remember David, the young shepherd whom many underestimated. 
No one saw his true value, but God looked at him and saw a king. David was chosen, trained, and guided by the Lord to fulfill an extraordinary destiny. In the same way, you have also been chosen. God has a special plan for you, something unique that only you can achieve. You may think, how is this possible? But let me assure you that God does not choose the qualified. He trains the chosen. He sees in you what you yourself have not yet discovered, your noble heart, your capacity to love and serve, and the immense potential that you carry within. It does not matter if you feel weak, imperfect, or full of defects. These are precisely the qualities that God uses to do great things. Today is the day to embrace that truth. Open your heart and tell God that you are ready to receive everything He wants to give you. Raise your voice and declare with faith, Lord, I am ready to receive your abundance and prosperity. I trust you and I surrender my life into your hands. Do not be afraid to proclaim this prayer, because it is the beginning of a new chapter in your life. In less than two minutes, you will begin to feel in your spirit what God has prepared specifically for you. It will be like a divine whisper that fills your being with hope and certainty. We live in a fast-paced world full of distractions where we often forget to truly have and feel the presence of God. But today is different. This moment is sacred, a space for you to breathe deeply, close your eyes, and feel how the love of God surrounds you. Write in the comments, Amen. I believe 7474 to seal this statement with gratitude. Do it with faith because each written word will attract the blessings that are about to manifest in your life. You are not here by chance. You are here because God has chosen you for great things. Believe in it and prepare to live the transformation that will change your life forever. Today, I want to invite you to reflect with me. My beloved son, my beloved daughter, stop for a moment and reflect. How many times today did you speak with your Heavenly Father? How many times did you set aside your phone, the television, or the worries of the day to connect with the heart of God? I know life is full of responsibilities, commitments, and distractions that can consume us. However, I want to remind you of something important. It is the presence of God that gives you strength, direction, and peace. Without Him, everything else loses its meaning. Allow yourself to experience that divine connection that can transform every area of your life. Look to Jesus, who gave us the perfect example of what it means to seek God amidst busyness. In Luke 5.16, we are told that he withdrew to lonely places to pray. Despite everything he had to do, Jesus always found time to be with his Father. This teaches us the importance of disconnecting from the noise of the world and seeking moments alone with the Creator. Today, my beloved, I invite you to follow this example. Write in the comments, Amen, I will seek God every day. And seal this decision in your heart. It is easy to let daily tasks, occupations, and social media steal the most valuable time we should dedicate to God, but I challenge you, brother and sister, to act differently. Make a conscious effort to reserve a moment every day to disconnect from the world and connect with your Heavenly Father. 
It doesn't matter if it's in the morning when you wake up or at night before going to sleep. The important thing is that it is a sacred time, a daily habit that allows you to embrace grace and the peace that only He can offer you. The Apostle Paul shared a powerful secret in Philippians 4, 12 to 13. I know what it is to live in poverty and what it is to live in abundance. I have learned the secret of being content in any situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether I have a lot or a little. I can do everything through Christ who strengthens me. These words were not said lightly. Paul knew the ups and downs of life. He went through shipwrecks, imprisonment, persecutions, and times of great scarcity, and yet he found a secret that allowed him to live with peace and gratitude in any circumstance. Your faith in Christ enables this same peace. Life is not easy, my dear son, my dear daughter. There will be moments of abundance when everything seems to be going well. But there will also be days of difficulty due to lack of resources, family problems, or health crises. It is in those dark moments when you most need to remember the words of Paul. Christ strengthens you, sustains you, and fills you with peace even in the midst of the storm. Write in the comments, I can do everything in Christ if you believe in this truth and wish to receive his strength today. My invitation today is clear. Reserve time for God. Talk to him. Rest in his presence and allow his love to renew your spirit. If you do this, you will see how your perspective changes, how peace replaces anxiety, and how his strength helps you face any situation. Don't wait any longer. Open your heart, seek his presence, and declare with faith, Lord, here I am. I can do all things in you. Amen. Today I want to invite you to reflect deeply on the powerful secret that the Apostle Paul shared. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. These words are not just a declaration, but an invitation to a life of total dependence on God, a life where strength does not come from our abilities or our efforts, but from the grace and power that only the Lord can give. Have you ever stopped to think how your life would change if you truly lived this truth every day? Imagine that instead of falling into despair in the face of problems, you could find peace in the midst of storms by fully trusting God. This does not mean the problems will disappear immediately, but it does mean you will receive the strength, serenity, and focus to face them with courage and faith. Write in the comments, I can do everything through Christ who strengthens me. If you want to live this truth and receive the divine strength you need to live this promise, we must first recognize that our strength is limited, no matter how hard we try. There are times when we simply cannot solve everything on our own, and that's okay, my son, my daughter. It is in those moments when we need to look up to our Heavenly Father and seek the strength that only He can give. That strength is available to you right now. You just need to open your heart and receive it with faith. God is always faithful. He never abandons us, and His promises are true. However, we often look for quick solutions. We want instant miracles and immediate answers. But you know, God has his own perfect timing and special way of acting in our lives. He sees beyond what we can understand and is working on something wonderful, even when we don't understand it. Write in the comments, 
I trust in God's timing to declare your faith and surrender to His perfect will. Think about those moments of difficulty when you found yourself waiting for an immediate response. We've all been there, facing challenges, problems, and moments of uncertainty that seem to have no end. It is natural to want God to intervene and fix everything immediately, but often He teaches us through waiting, strengthens us, guides us, and prepares us to receive His blessing in a way that will transform our lives. Today, I tell you, you are not alone in your fight. God is with you, sustaining you and renewing your strength. He is the refuge where you can rest and find hope. Trust Him, even when you do not see the clear path. Declare with faith, Lord, I surrender to your time. I can do everything through Christ who strengthens me. Do it with an open heart, knowing that his plan is always better than we can imagine. Remember, beloved son and beloved daughter, that God is never late. He is always working, even in this moment. May these words become a living truth in your life. I can do everything through Christ who strengthens me. Reflect on this declaration of faith and begin to live in the strength that only God can give you. Today, I want to remind you that although the wait can sometimes be long and the path may seem difficult, God is working in your life in ways we cannot always understand. He is faithful but he is also wise. His timing is perfect, even when it doesn't match ours. Waiting is not a time of idleness. Right now, God is molding your character, strengthening your faith, and preparing something much greater for you. If you are facing financial difficulties and debts that overwhelm you with no way out, I want you to know that God has not forgotten about you. He is about to act powerfully in your life. Receive this promise. God has a financial transformation prepared for you. It may seem impossible right now, but remember, we are talking about the God who turns the impossible into possible. I believe in the power of God to transform my life and prepare for the miracle God will provide. This promise concerns every area of our life, including our finances. Many times we think that talking about money is not spiritual, but that is not true. Our Heavenly Father is loving and wants to see His children living in abundance and prosperity, not only spiritually, but also materially. You may wonder how this will happen. My situation is so complicated and my debts are overwhelming. But I want to tell you something. God has the power to open doors that seem closed and create paths where we see no way out. He knows your needs, He hears your prayers, and He sees your tears today. I proclaim over your life a time of transformation, the time of lament is coming to an end and a new stage of joy and abundant harvest is about to begin. You will reap the fruits of your effort and not only that, you will be happy, prosperous, and a blessing to others. Declare out loud, I believe my harvest time has arrived. Open your heart to receive what God has for you I declare in the name of Jesus that all the financial barriers that have held you back are being destroyed right now. I rebuke every crisis, every debt, and every difficulty that has tried to steal your peace. May every chain that has bound you be broken in this instant, and may you experience the financial freedom that God has prepared for you. 
write in the comments. I receive my financial freedom in the name of Jesus. Trust that God is working in your favor. But this miracle is not just for you. God is raising you up as a channel of blessings. With the prosperity you will receive, you will bless others. Your testimony will be great, and many will see the power of God through your life. When people talk about you, they will not only remember your struggles, but also the incredible miracle of transformation that God performed in you. Your story will be a living testimony of God's faithfulness and love. Today, embrace this promise with faith and gratitude, knowing that the best chapter of your life is yet to come. Write and declare now my testimony will be great and will glorify god begin to walk in the victory that is already assured for you today i pray that the peace of god which surpasses all understanding guards your heart and your mind at this moment may you feel his presence enveloping you filling you with security and confidence reminding you that he is taking care of every detail of your life. Declare now, I believe I receive, because it is through faith that anxiety and fear are replaced by hope and strength. Brother, sister, I invite you to stay attentive to the signs of the Father. Sometimes the blessings we long for come in ways we do not expect, and it is crucial to be open to recognizing them. God, in His infinite wisdom, always guides us along the best path, even if we do not understand it at first. Remember the story of Elijah. In the midst of his fear and discouragement, God did not manifest Himself in the wind, earthquake, or fire, but in a gentle breeze. In the same way, God continues to speak to us today in subtle but powerful ways. Comment now. I am attentive to the signs of God and prepare to hear His voice in your daily life. God is creative and uses surprising means to bless us. Sometimes a simple idea, an unexpected job opportunity, or a novel project can be the beginning of something great. Do not despise what seems small or insignificant because God has the power to transform everything small into something great. How many times have we ignored the small signs, looking for spectacular answers? The truth is that His hand is present in every detail. Keep your heart open and trust that He is working, even in the everyday. Furthermore, God places specific people in our lives to support and guide us. It could be a friend, a family member, or even an acquaintance who appears at the necessary moment. Always remember that each encounter has a divine purpose. Perhaps that word of encouragement, that unexpected advice, or that call that comes at the exact moment is how God is answering your prayers. I want to share with you something I experienced during a time of uncertainty and unemployment. I prayed incessantly for an opportunity and a friend unexpectedly told me about a job I would never have considered. It was outside my comfort zone, but I decided to listen, pray, and act with faith. What seemed improbable ended up being a door to blessings that I never imagined. God used that simple call to change my life. Right now in the comments. I trust God's plans for me and allow Him to guide your steps. God is always working, even when we do not perceive it. Recognizing God's signs in our lives. 
The signs of God's presence can often be found in the small details of the challenges we face, or even in seemingly casual encounters. It is vital to keep our spiritual eyes and ears open, as what may seem common could be the beginning of a great blessing. Although at times we may not understand the scope of God's plans, we can often look back and realize His love and faithfulness. Today, I invite you to open your mind and heart to recognize the signs of God in your life. Understand that He is guiding every step of your path, transforming your challenges into opportunities and your small beginnings into great testimonies. Declare with faith, God is working in my life in ways I still do not understand. Walk with confidence toward the purpose He has for you. Embracing God's Teachings Dear friend, let us recognize together that following God's teachings is not always easy. We live in a world surrounded by distractions, constantly offering seemingly easier and more attractive paths. How many times have we felt that it is more comfortable to follow the crowd or to align ourselves with what others do? However, we must remember a comforting truth. God has a unique and special plan for each of us, a plan filled with prosperity, peace, and true happiness. Jesus warned us about the tribulations we would face in this world, but he also filled us with hope when he said, Take heart, I have overcome the world. These words assure us that although the Christian path can be challenging, we will never walk alone. Jesus not only understands our struggles, but walks with us, giving us the strength to overcome them. Reflect on this promise today. No matter how difficult the path may seem, Jesus has already conquered it for you. Declare now with faith, with Him, I am more than an overcomer. Temptations are part of our daily reality. They may manifest as the desire to make incorrect decisions, give in to social pressures, or take shortcuts that compromise our values. But there is something wonderful to remember. God always provides a way out. In 1 Corinthians 10, 13, the Bible assures us that God will not allow us to face temptations beyond our strength and will show us a way to resist. God is faithful and you will never be without His help. Write in the comments, God is my strength. Resisting temptation and strengthening faith. How can we resist temptations in practice? First, we must anchor ourselves in the Word of God. The Bible is not just a book. It is our guide, our compass, in the midst of the world's confusion. As Psalm 119 verse 11 declares, I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Dedicate time each day to read, meditate, and apply Scripture. Doing so will strengthen our faith and give us clarity to discern between right and wrong. Make this a daily habit, and you will see how your spiritual life is strengthened. Declare, The Word of God is my light. Never underestimate the power of the Christian community. Walking alongside other believers is essential to overcoming the challenges of the Christian life. Surrounding yourself with people who share your faith provides support, encouragement, and opportunities to share both your struggles and victories. In Hebrews 10, 24 to 25, we are urged not to stop meeting together, but to encourage one another, especially as we wait for the Lord's return. Seek fellowship, join a prayer group or your local church, and let the strength of community 
propel you forward. Living the Abundant Life in Christ Remember, dear friend, facing the challenges of the Christian life can be difficult, but you do not have to do it alone. Jesus walks with you, the Word of God guides you, and the Christian community supports you. Trust that with His help, you can overcome any obstacle and live the abundant life He has prepared for you. Declare with faith, I am not alone. God is with me, and my victory is assured. Today begins a new chapter in your walk with Christ. Seek support in your church and your Christian friends, for the strength of the community can be an invaluable relief and firm support during difficult times. We all face moments of weakness, and when we fail, it is natural to feel the burden of guilt. But always remember, God is merciful and is always willing to forgive us and give us a new chance. God's Mercy and Forgiveness In 1 John 1, 9, the Bible promises us that if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. This verse not only speaks of forgiveness, but also the restoration He offers us with each new dawn. Guilt can be a feeling that consumes us and distances us from God, but do not allow that guilt to distance you from the unconditional love of your Heavenly Father. He is always there to lift you up and restore you, no matter how deep you have fallen or how many mistakes you have made. God loves you deeply, and His love will never change. This divine love is the one we must embrace, for it is powerful and liberating. God is a loving Father, always willing to receive us with open arms. Think of the parable of the prodigal son. Although the son walked away, made bad decisions, and lost everything, when he chose to return home, his father received him with love, joy, and celebration. This is a perfect reflection of God's love for you and me. No matter how far you have strayed or how many mistakes you have made, God is always waiting for you with open arms, ready to embrace and restore you. A Personal Testimony of God's Love I want to share a very personal moment with you. There was a time when I walked away from God. I knew what was right, but the temptations of the world seemed irresistible to me. I began to make decisions that took me away from His path. It was a difficult time, and I felt lost and without peace, as though everything around me was collapsing. But one day I decided to go to church, feeling that something inside me was calling me to return. During the service I experienced a powerful presence of God, and it was then that I understood that He had never left me. God was there with open arms, waiting for my return. I decided to surrender to Him, ask for forgiveness, and start anew. That was one of the best decisions I have ever made. God restored my life, giving me a new perspective and a peace that I couldn't find anywhere else. If right now you feel like you have walked away, know that God is calling you back, no matter how far you have gone. He is always ready to receive you. God is waiting with love and patience, ready to help you find your way back to His embrace. Life with God does not mean that we will be free of problems, but it means that we will never be alone. We know that we have His company, direction, and love in every step we take. Even in the most difficult moments, He gives us the strength to move forward, 
even when it seems that everything is against us. If you think that this message can help someone, do not hesitate to share it. There are many people who need to hear this word of encouragement and hope. Together we can reach millions of hearts and make a real difference in their lives. I invite you to lean completely on God, seek His strength and guidance, because He has a wonderful and unique plan for each of us. Although the Christian path sometimes seems full of obstacles, every step taken in faith is always worth it. The joy and fulfillment we find in it are incomparable and sustain us in the midst of adversity. Now I want to invite you to join me in prayer. Lord, we thank you sincerely for your faithfulness and for your constant presence in our lives. Help us to walk in your paths, resist the temptations that distance us from you, and fully trust your guidance. Thank you for your unconditional love, for forgiving us, and for restoring us. We always ask you to strengthen us and give us the wisdom to move forward with faith and hope in the name of Jesus. May this prayer be a reminder that although we face trials, God is always with us, guiding us toward a future full of peace and blessings in the midst of the challenges we face daily. I ask you, Lord, to give us the strength to overcome difficulties, the wisdom to make decisions according to your will, and the courage to live according to your principles. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In our lives, full of commitments and occupations, it is essential that we learn to stop and recognize the presence of God in every moment. The accelerated pace of modern life constantly drags us down, filling us with pressure and worries. It is as if each second were marked by the next task or commitment, leaving little room to stop and reflect. However, it is essential to set aside time for ourselves to remember what really matters to listen to the whisper of God within us. Today I want to invite you to take a step towards calm, to take care of yourself, and to find moments of peace and serenity in the midst of daily demands. Dedicate a few minutes each day simply to stop, reflect, and give thanks. That brief time of pause, observation, and gratitude has the power to transform our perspective and fill us with renewed energy and peace. When was the last time you stopped to admire the beauty that surrounds you? We are so caught up in routine that we overlook the gifts that life offers us today. I encourage you to take a moment to contemplate the divine creation that is around you. This connection with nature and the environment fills us with peace and renews our faith, reminding us that even in chaos, God is still present. It is also important to disconnect from technology from time to time and get closer to the people around us. Technology has many benefits, but it often distances us from authentic and deep connections. What if during meals, you put the phone aside and use that time to talk with your loved ones, look them in the eyes, and listen carefully to what they have to say? Those moments of interaction allow us to appreciate the small details of life. Remember those days of childhood when family meals were full of laughter from conversations that went beyond the daily routine of sharing dreams and worries. We can recover that essence, that genuine connection. Ask the person next to you how their day was. Share stories, dreams, and desires. This is a beautiful way to strengthen bonds and create memories that will remain engraved in the heart. 
These simple but significant moments are the ones that really give flavor to life and connect us deeply with others. Lastly, don't forget to dedicate time to be with God. Our relationship with Him needs constant attention and commitment. Don't let the daily hustle and bustle take you away from His presence. Life is not just about doing and doing. In addition to our responsibilities, we must focus on the deeper aspects of life, such as being present, expressing gratitude, and cultivating love. We need moments to slow down, to fully live in the present, and to enjoy the blessings that God has placed in our lives. The Word teaches us that there is a time for everything under heaven. Ecclesiastes 3.1 This includes time to work, but also time to rest, reflect, and enjoy the company of those we love. So today, make a conscious effort to disconnect, breathe, and remember that time with God and your loved ones is what really gives meaning to your life. I propose a simple but powerful habit that could transform your life. Dedicate between 15 minutes and an hour a day to an activity that gives you peace and tranquility, moving away from technology and distractions in our daily routine. It is easy to get carried away by the speed and noise of the modern world, but it is essential to find moments to reconnect with what really matters. You could read an inspiring book, walk in nature, listen to relaxing music, or simply sit in silence to meditate. The important thing is to use this time to calm your mind and draw closer to God, taking a break from the hectic daily routine. It is crucial to learn how to say no when necessary. In our society, we often feel the pressure to please everyone and always be available to others. However, this can deeply affect our mental and emotional health. Recognizing and respecting our limits is an act of self-love and wisdom. God has called us to live a full and abundant life, which includes learning to take care of ourselves and putting ourselves first when necessary. If we do not take the time to renew our strength, we will not be able to give the best of ourselves to others. We close this moment of reflection with a prayer. Lord, we thank you for this time to reflect and draw closer to you. We thank you for your magnificent creation, your infinite grace, and your unconditional love. We ask you to help us slow down, to value each moment, each person, and every blessing you have placed in our lives. Teach us to be grateful in all circumstances, to disconnect from the distractions that keep us away from you, and to connect more deeply with you and those we love. Grant us the wisdom to balance our lives, find rest, and experience your peace. In the name of Jesus, amen. May God bless you abundantly. Let's learn together to live with gratitude, valuing meaningful connections. Amen. Please subscribe to our channel and activate notifications so that every time God has a miracle for your life, you will know immediately. Stay with God until tomorrow. Amen.